ho, 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 Hello, boys and girls. Santa Farmhouse is here. Once again, we have another Christmas video for you. And it's going to be a good one, this one. It's not an Xbox uh, independent game. It's actually an old Christmas game. One that I may have overlooked or just never got around to being able to actually get. But we'll wait to see what that is in a little bit. And oh, look here. Somebody left, left. some milk and cookies for Santa Farmhouse. Well, we'll definitely have to indulge in one of those. <laughs> Puh. Puh. Mm, perhaps a bit later. Anyways, let's check the calendar. Ooh, let's see, where are we at here? We are at December the 6th. Where is that? Uh, 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 um, hmm, it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, there it is. <laughs> ho, 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 I'm an idiot. Okay, let's see what we got here today. Pop it out, and it is, oh my gosh. Now, you'll never be able to see this, but it's one of the most bizarre looking Santa faces ever. Now, you can't see that. <laughs> but it is a Santa face. And of course, in the last video, oh, in the last video, I mentioned that we were going to do an Ask Santa Farmhouse thing. And I was going to take all of the questions and put them into Santa Farmhouse's sack, and then we we're going to pull them out and answer them. And of course, nobody asked anything, so there will be no Santa Farmhouse sack this time. Anyways, we're still going to try to do it if anybody wants to ask any questions, but what else do we have? Ooh, look under the tree. There are presents. Presents for Santa Farmhouse. What could it be? A video game? Maybe. Hmm. Ooh, smells good. No, I don't need to taste it. Anyways, the point is there are presents under the tree, which means I am getting more excited for Christmas. So anyways, let's wrap this part of the video up here. And I might as well tell you right now, we're going to check out Christmas Nights for the Sega Saturn. This is supposed to be the ultimate Christmas game that uh, everyone says, you know, when it comes to Christmas games, this is the best Christmas game, or at least a lot of people say that. So we're definitely going to check it out, and of course, I've never played the game before, so I'm going to be a complete noob at it. But any either way, I'm going to enjoy some nice milk and cookies here while we uh, do that little transition 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 video to Christmas nights oh. <clears throat> roll the film holy crap here we go we are checking out Christmas nights from the Sega Saturn, or Christmas Nights into Dreams, I guess it could be, which is a Christmassy demo of Nights into Dreams on the Sega Saturn. This is all completely new to me. Um, so let's go into Nights here. I never actually played the original, because I never had a Sega Saturn, and I actually never played any of them. I think there was one on the GameCube, maybe? Uh, never played that one, and there's one on the Wii as well. Also, never played that one. So let's just jump right in. Christmas Dream. We have the option to be Clarice or Elliot. Um, I like Elliot because he almost looks like he's wearing a little Santa suit. We are Elliot, and this is a Christmassy. It's a demo of the original game. Like this is Spring Valley, which is in the original game, but it's been all Christmassified. If that's even a word, which it totally isn't. So here I got these Christmas balls or orbs or whatever it is which have been all taken away from me and kind of scattered throughout the level or something. 
Either way, so you start off on foot as Elliot, and right away you kind of want to go over here, in which you'll then become Knights. And Knights is kind of like a, I had to do a little bit of research on this, Knights is like an androgynous figure, neither man or woman. Knights is just Knights. And when you become Knights, you then can fly around and collect all these orbs and stuff. You can spin around, you can press a button to do a little bit of a dash. You can press other buttons to do tricks as well. Fly through these Christmas wreaths. And I believe the whole objective is just to collect as much stuff, I guess? I'm really not 100% sure. I'm a complete Knights noob. So I am gonna suck extremely bad. So keep that in mind. I will be absolutely terrible at this game. But when it comes to looking at Christmas games, everyone kept saying, you know, dude, you gotta do Christmas Nights. It's like the ultimate Christmas game. I mean, it's so Christmassy, it'll make you throw up. I mean, look how colorful it is. There's Christmas trees, there's wreaths, there's presents, there's snow, and there's Christmas music. I mean, it defines what makes a great Christmas game. It's got all the staple uh, features, and not to mention the fact that it's um, a whole ton of fun. So, this is my second time trying the game out. Here we go. And I got a C. That's not too bad. And you'll see there's a counter at the top there. I'm supposed to, I guess, collect as much stuff as I can and... Oops, ah, I messed up. Get a nice score before the time runs out. And once the time runs out, I believe in the original game when the time ran out, you get to start over again or something like that. Uh, but when the time runs out in this, it just drops you back as Elliot and you kind of lose everything that you got. And you then have to find your way back to becoming knights again. So, as far as, you know, me just running around and collecting stuff, I really don't know what the whole premise is behind behind the game. But it is a lot of fun. And I know there is, there is an end boss to the demo level. Uh, I'll never get to it. But uh, there is. Um... But yeah, like I said, I'll never get to it. There's also a ton of unlockable things as well. Uh, I believe you can unlock Sonic the Hedgehog. You can actually play as Sonic and a bunch of other characters as well. You do have to, I believe you have to play through the, and beat the demo with both Elliot and Clarice in order to get all that stuff. And of course, I'm not doing very well, so... But you know what? It is fun, and it is very, very Christmassy. I got a bonus time start. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do at this point. Whoa! Oh, I missed all my bells. So it's very, very, very Christmassy. It's got a great Christmas song in it. As far as I know, you could, if you have the original CD, you can pop it out and put it into a CD player, another C, and play the song that way. I, I think you can. I know you could for the, uh, I know that's how the Graphic CD works. I think the Sega CD even worked that way as well. And it's kind of like an endless track. Um, if you don't collect enough stuff, you kind of go through the track uh, again. And they did a pretty neat job. It's, it's, a, it's like a 2D game but with a lot of 3D back, like the, the foreground is 2D and the background is 3D. And I don't know what I have coming out of my butt here. What is this big yellow ribbon here? Not sure. And I don't know what do not, ow! That hurt! So maybe middle loop, what's going on? Maybe if anybody has played this game, if you're watching this video and you've played this game, Shed some light to me on what some of this stuff is. What is that pay no mind stuff? Why did I have a like a yellow thing coming out of my butt? Um, and of course, if you have played this game a lot, you're looking at this video going, man, you are the worst Knights player ever. Maybe I am. 
but maybe it's the second time I've ever played the game. So cut me some slack. I, I'm a complete noob. But you know what? It's Christmas. Man, it's alright to be a noob at Christmas. Here, I got the yellow thing. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> So definitely, I can see why a lot of people say this is the ultimate Christmas game. I mean, it just, it pukes Christmas all over you, really. I mean, with the colors, with the music, it's, it's very, very Christmassy. And I'm going to run out of time, it looks like. Oh. Another C. So that's the game, I mean, I'm, I guess we'll just wrap it up there because I have no way to exit out to uh, play as Clear East. There's no way to actually exit the game, I think, without shutting it off, and I just missed everything there, so. Got some nice candles there, some nice snow, gotta love the Christmas trees, even got little bows on them, look at that. Christmas bells, everything about this demo just pukes Christmas. And it's just so much fun. I just really need to bother to learn how to play the game. <laughs> then maybe I would enjoy it that much more. Anyways, that's it. Christmas Nights into Dreams. For Farmhouse and Canadian Gamer, Merry Christmas, guys. The countdown is still on the way. So for Farmhouse, the Christmas Canadian Gamer, cheers. <laughs>